I'm like going to be so thoroughly lost in here. <laughs> oh man, I this is not this is not good. Welcome back, everybody, to Osiris New Dawn Experimental Branch. I'm an old guy gaming, and it is Soul 2, and we are starting our second day here on the new beautiful Proteus 2. All right, so I did a couple things off camera. I set up some bins, as you can see here, uh, a little uh, hut here. I didn't actually have enough crab parts to do the crab shack, so we just uh, we just went with the debris hut. And I got one rock wall set up. So we are basically just right above the the bloodleaf forest here. We've got this big ginormous pillar here, which is what it's which is going to function as part of our wall. And um, I'm probably gonna just keep my outdoor crafting area along this wall uh, permanently. And then you know when we start building the habitat and so forth, we'll build out to this direction. Now um, I, I mentioned in the last episode that. Once we set up the base, I didn't want to move it, but got to thinking, you know, because there's, you know, such a, uh, we have, you know, such a cool new map, we might find another place that tickles our fancy later on. And if that happens, you know, we might end up moving. We'll see how things go. Uh, but my plan is to, to build more rock walls just to kind of close this area off, you know, temporarily until we get to the point where we can actually do um, a habitat. Okay. Uh, so let's see, we've got food stuff in here, bug parts in there ingots uh, building parts uh, containers and um, other equipment types of things in there so that's our current setup now we're gonna go ahead and grab this barrel because we need to build a a furnace uh, to start off with so um, I think I'm, I'm gonna probably ultimately build about four furnaces and I'll probably put them right along this rock wall here so let's hit the F2 key and go to furnace and Oh, does this not have do water anymore? It looks different. Hmm, it looks different. Okay. Well, let's um let's build it. We have to we need to build it anyway, so I think I'll actually turn it this way. Um, do I want to turn it that way? It doesn't really matter. Yeah, let's turn it that way. And right about here. Okay, so, oh man, did they change it so this doesn't make water anymore? Or is that what this little thing down here is? Bummer. Uh, okay, so it looks like it still makes all of the same stuff as before, but I don't, I don't see the water thing unless that's what this is. All right, well, um, let's grab... I have, um, oh, I have my own inventory. I have some ores that I, I just grabbed when we were out and about. So let's go ahead and start processing those. Um, oh, actually here, I want to cancel that and get some meat going too. Um, and we can, it's going to be a little while before we can make the, the better food. So uh, we're just going to turn all meat that we have right now into steak. Um, and that will give us... A decent food supply uh, for the time being. Okay, let's move those over. We can do some titanium, copper, and gold here. And let's, yeah, let's just let that all, all that uh, do its thing there. Looks like we have one magnesium and one, uh, I guess that was gold left over. Uh, so we'll put, I, I guess, hmm, I guess we'll put raw ores in here for now. And uh, I'm going to put that extra debris in there for now, too. All, all of this storage, of course, is just temporary. I'll put that stuff over there. And isn't that a piece of meat? Yeah, that's nat meat, too. So why... Oh, here we go. I missed it. Just missed it down there. Okay, so that takes care of all of our... Um, our ingots for now and so we'll put the ingots up in here we actually have three plutonium it doesn't we don't have a screen tip that pops up anymore it does tell us down here what is selected but 
There used to be a screen tip that popped up. Is that something that we can enable? Um, first person helmet, invert, do, do, do. What's preview? Oh, maybe that's what, maybe that's what we want is preview. No, I don't even know what, what does preview actually mean? Whoops. Preview. Fair dehydration detected. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Okay, well, anyway, um, I don't see an option in this menu for for showing tooltips. I wonder if it's a something we would do in, like, the main settings menu. Unless we open key bindings. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I liked the tooltip because, you know, it's just a little faster than having to actually select it and then look in the lower right-hand corner. But if that's the way it works, that's the way it works. All right, anyway, um, let's go ahead and look at points now. I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed that this no longer makes water. Oh, man, that's going to make things a pain in the butt. It really is. Unless unless there's a they have a, a better solution that we haven't come across yet. I, I don't know. All right, well, anyway, let's look at our points. So that's going to be F5, 6, F6. Yeah, they've changed all that. That used to be F5. Okay, so we've got... Um, We've got six stat points. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's put one more into speed and then two into health, two into strength and one into stamina and that's it. Okay. So that fixes that. Now we want to get to the conduit vendor for engineering and we want to get to the depository. Okay. And then um, how many more engineering points do we have? We only have two. So that's all we can do in engineering. Um, in science, we want to get to the chemical station, and we want to get to the small solar panel and the 3D printer. We have a lot of science points. Okay, and this is the chemistry table, uh, which we don't need until we get in indoors. Um, so let's see, I think we probably want to move up this way, because I would like to get to the, you know, the inflatable habitat... There's nothing up this tree we need immediately. This is all habitat stuff there. Um, I've ne I have never had to make batteries so far because you loot so many of them, but that might change, you know, that might change, especially with, with not all of the mines available now. Um, we don't need these immediately. So, oh boy, I, I guess, yeah, let's just work up this tree so we can get to this for science. Oh man, we got a lot of points. Okay, so we're get we're getting pretty close to that. Um, all right, you know the other question too is I wonder if the skills actually work again. Um, let's be, before we do combat points, let's look at something here really quick. So if we go into F two, um, will it let me make this even though I haven't learned it? Well, I don't know. I guess I can't really tell without the actual materials in my inventory. So, so we don't know that yet. Uh, but we did. We already did learn the chem station. This is really kind of the next thing I want to make. And that requires four plutonium ingots, and we only have three. Dog, got it. Man, just one shy of that. Okay. Well, we'll figure it out. We will figure it out. All right, I don't need to carry around the clips for now, uh, so we'll put that stuff in there. All right, you guys, uh, I think we're ready to, um, we're going to go ahead and, and hop into the mine and just kind of see what's what, because I, I need the forge before I can make the conduit bender, which is going to be our, you know, our mining and melee weapon. Again, assuming it, oh shit, assuming it is, um... The same as it was in the the stable version and i'm going to also whack this tree here so we can get a little bit more uh blueberries for hydration but hopefully we'll find um some water jars inside the mine inside the room that has all the containers more specifically okay Serious dehydration detected. yeah i know oh, oh shit. I'm working on it. 
Uh, let's go to five and patch up. Okay. Did I miss any berries anywhere? Yeah, there's a couple more here. These are what's gonna keep us keep us alive until we can get a better thing of a solution, better solution for water. All right, let's chow down on these until our hydration gets all the way back up. We'll eat some meat, and we'll just take a couple of these to get our health back up. Okay, so we're in good shape now. All right, you guys. Well, let's head on into Alpha Mine. Well, I guess it's Mine 1 now and see if it's the same or different. Uh, I don't think that's supposed to be there. This is not the same. This is not even close to the same. Oh, man. Okay. I'm not sure how I feel about that. So, okay, so we have to, um, we have to break this apart to get through. That's kind of cool, actually. All right. I was kind of counting on the containers because they have such good stuff in them, but maybe, uh, maybe we don't, can't rely on those anymore. Okay, yeah, so we do have to break our way through. That's kind of neat. Plus, we're, you know, we're getting, uh... Ores in the process, too. It's never a bad thing. Okay, I think... I think that's all of it. Wow! Alright, so we got... Um, we got 17 titanium, 15 copper, and 8 gold out of, out of all that. Oh, here's one more piece here, too. And more titanium. Man, it seems to me like we should have gotten more than that, but I guess that's all we got, eh? My entrance is back that way. Okay. Well, let's go further in and see what's going to jump out at us. They have way changed these places. So maybe we... Oh, what's that? Hmm. That's interesting. That looks like a... It's a different texture, like it's, you know, blocking another room maybe or something. Alright, I'm not see. Okay, we got a little walkway thing here. Ooh, and we've got a door. Oh no, we need a key. Okay, we gotta look for a dead guy. We have to look for a dead guy. So let's, um, man, if, if, if the dead guy's not in, in the mine, that's going to be a pain in the ass. That is going to be a royal pain in the ass. Let's go all the way around the circumference. All right. I'm not seeing a dead Starvation warning. I'm not seeing a dead guy in there. Let's look in here again. Hmm. Okay. Let's go back to the front room. I'm not seeing anything in the... In, you know, in, uh, in and amongst these rocks either. Let's go back in here and look around again too. Because I wasn't looking, actually looking for a dead guy, you know. Okay, not seeing anything back in there. Whoa! 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 What the hell just happened? Uh. It like completely spit me out. That's not good. Uh, all right, let's go back towards our hut. That is no bueno, man. That is no bueno. 
You know what? I wonder some we looked at one of those pieces down there and it was uranium. I wonder if there's plutonium down here too. Are we gonna have to fight that crab? Probably. He doesn't see us. He what he would do and Yeah, he just saw us. Okay, well, let's fight him. Trying to kind of strafe around him a little bit. Our knife is is getting low, so that means it's going to be less effective. Uh, yeah, I was going to say last time we were down here, there was also some scaliopods, and here they are. Okay, this one's almost dead. All right, now we just have the... Oh, we have... The... Shit, we've got three more. Damn it. Damn it, Jim. Okay, this one seems to be the weaker of the two, so let's see if we can eliminate him so we only have to focus on the, the really tough one. Ah! Oh, come on. There we go. We actually need some Skeliopod parts for our the Skeliopod shed if we decide to make it. Oh, he was just a level one as well. Okay, so let's go back over here. Our health's actually not in too bad a shape. Nutrition and uh, hydration is a whole nother story. Let's eat about half of these and a couple of these. Actually, yeah, we're good. All right, now, please, 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 please have some of these be plutonium, not just uranium. That's uranium. Let's check these over here. Oh, there's a barrel. We'll grab that. That's uranium. See, I haven't, I haven't seen any um, meteorites. So I don't think we get, you know, plutonium flying out of the sky anymore. I think that um, that, that was way OP, but I don't, I don't want it to be removed altogether. It just needed to be toned down a little bit. But so far, and I don't know how long I've been playing, maybe an hour now, hour and a half, I have not seen any meteorites. This is all uranium. Oh, man. So how the hell do we get plutonium, then? We used to be able to go into beta mine to get it. I probably shouldn't be running so much, because we're just expending extra, you know, extra hydration and all that. We can get into the mines more quickly. That's good. Okay, so this hasn't reset, either. So we were over here looking around for a body with a key card. I'm just checking one last time. There's no monsters in here either, but there might be behind the door in here. Do you suppose the body... Interesting. You can kind of see through the window there. The body with the key card, uh, well, assuming it's still on a body, is maybe in outside in the bloodleaf force. Let's go look around a little bit. Uh, oh, wait, what? We have to exit from this little ball. Hmm. All right, so since we... What? Mine two entrance? We just came out of mine one. <laughs> what in the hell's going on? Oh, this is beta mine, guys. This is where we had our base. Right down there. In the in the stable version. There used to be a, a, a palm tree over there. That's not there anymore, but this is the area that we set up our base in. Why did it there used to be a okay, let's get these stones. Yeah, all of this stuff has been here before. Is 
This looks different. I don't know, maybe it's not, but it looks different. Okay, so why why did this push us out at beta mine? Or what the game's now calling mine two. See, this is a little bit different here too. This wasn't exactly like this. Let's break that. Um, I wanted to get to this berry tree here. Can we still get to it? I'm afraid the berries might fall inside the stone, but let's just see what happens. Well, we found... We found... Um, mine 2, you know, which, again, like I said, used to be called Beta Mine. But that was not supposed to... How? That was not supposed to happen, man. Oh, uh, it looks like there's probably some um, some mineral nodes over there that are missing textures, because that's usually what that means when you see the pink. I'm going to grab this stuff. Okay, now, let's go back up to beta mine. Wait, where did it go? <laughs> everything's, everything's different. It's, it's sort of kind of familiar and sort of kind of not. So, what happens if we go back in here? At least we can go back in here. Is this the same? No, this is, this is different. I think, is it? Oh, that, I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so confused. This is, okay, when we were in Alpha Mine or Mine 1, this curved the other way. And it had a door. And when I looked through the window, it looked just like this. What in the hell's going on here, you guys? Are we, okay, here, let's just go into the mine. See if we can figure out what in the world is going on here. Is the mine are the mines now supposed to be connected to each other? Okay, so we have a passageway that way and a passageway this way. Let's go left first. Um, no, I don't think we want to go this way. <laughs> okay. I don't think we want to go this way. Um, let's go down here. Bloodleaf forest. I'm just going to continue going left because that way we can... All right, so that's another opening that just goes out into no man's land. Where does this go? There's no monsters in these caves. All right, that goes out into no man's land. We're just going to keep staying left because... Oh, what was that? Oh, hydration? Uh, F1. Uh, 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 uh. Stabilized. All right, where is this going to go? Oh, whoa, whoa, that scared me. That goes to no man's land. All right. Oh, this is, okay, this is like the end room in, in Alpha Cave, right? There's no, there's no uh, resources in here.
I suppose if we walk out there, we're just going to fall off the world. Okay, this comes out and down into no man's land. Where does this go? I'm like going to be so thoroughly lost in here. <laughs> oh man, I, this is not, this is not good. Okay, so I can't seem, I'm not able to get out from the door itself. I have to look at this, mine to exit. And where did that put me? Okay, that puts me back out and into the mine one entrance, back at our base. Huh. Okay. Well, here's the... Here's the long and short of it then. It looks like Experimental has disabled the functionality of the caves for now. Um and that's that's not good. So I have to, I guess I have to decide if I want to continue trying to play without, you know, without the caves. Um, you know, you, you do get to a point eventually where you don't really need to go into the caves anymore. But, um, the thing is, is, you know, I, I have got to find plutonium or I can't make the furnace. And if I can't make the furnace, we're pretty much dead in the water. Uh, I'm sorry, not the furnace, the, um, the forge. And the furnaces don't give water anymore, which really sucks. So, boy, I don't know. I'm not sure what uh, the the answer is here. But, um, I guess, I guess what we could do is, is look around a little bit more. And, um, if we can come across plutonium, we still might be able to make a go of this. Uh, because, you know, you could always find plutonium in the beta cave that was always in there, just in little small pieces. So, you, you know, if you ran it enough, you would eventually get enough. And, you know, we did come up with three ingots. We must have looted that out of a crate somewhere, because, uh, or maybe from the disassembly that we did in episode one. I don't know. Okay, well, anyways, um, I think the thing to do at this point is, like I said, let's look around for, um, let's put all this stuff in here. Let's look around for plutonium. If we can come up with plutonium, we might we might be able to make this work. If we can't, then I think we're pretty much, um, I think it's game over for experimental. We'll walk around a bit more and see what we can see. It probably shouldn't be out at night, but... Okay, there's, there's the fungus, humongous area over there. Uh, we could go see if oxygen is still over there. Man, my knife is in such bad shape right now see we're not doing as much damage as we did before but we might have to make a we might have to make like a um a stone tool just temporarily because the problem with the the knife of you know if it breaks all the way it's it's just not very effective. Okay, don't run, walk. I gotta I gotta get in the habit of not running because that consumes our hydration and food more quickly. Food's not really a problem; it's hydration. So let's walk over here. Wait, are those the the fungus humongous area, or am I looking at some other kind of weird new tree? Not really sure. There does seem to be more stuff to salvage in Experimental than there was in the stable version. So that's always a good thing. Yeah, that is the Fungus Among Us place. Okay, good. Three Peak Valley. Don't run. Don't run. Let's just walk over there. I want to see if the O2 is still over there. Oh, there's a vent of something over here, too. I can't tell the color from here. And we got a red tree, which we can grab uh, some berries for bandages. 
that's hydrogen. Okay, good. Good to know. I hate these guys. Wait. Get, what the hell, man? I was trying to equip my... My, um, my chisel, and it wasn't, it wasn't coming up. I'm working on it. We gotta kill this guy before we can seek medical assistance. We really shouldn't be out at night. That's not the smartest thing. He's probably gonna kill us. Okay, we got him. Uh, let's get this quickly. We'll eat one of those two to help boost it up a little further. Whew, okay, I saw another one. Yeah, there's another one over there. These guys are a bitch, man. I don't want to mess with them right now, especially with a gimp knife. There we go. Jeez Louise. Okay. Um, let's take another one of these. Fungal thicket. Stay away from the cactus spine thingies. Okay, there's O2. And another base. Here, we better switch to our... To this, because our knife is, like, just completely broken. Maybe we'll luck out and find a, a crate here with... Uh, Can we get... Can they come up here? Okay, they can't. They can't. Um, I'm, I, I don't... I don't see any purple trees around. There's a red tree, but that isn't going to help us with... Oh, there is a purple tree over here. Okay. Oh, man. Not good. I gotta fight you guys off and try and not die of thirst at the same time. Sucks to be me, huh? Okay, we got rid of him. Now we can't find the damn berries because they're buried in the thick grass. Okay, here's one. Let's heal up a couple hits. Okay. Now, where do the rest of the berries go that I knocked off of here? Really hard to find them in. Uh, well, wait, did I knock more berries off? Maybe I didn't. Uh. Okay. We are back in business for a little while. Not very long, but for a little while. Let's go back over to here, where we were. Okay, so we can we can salvage that stuff. We probably will, but what we really need to do is find a container. There's chlorine over that way. There's a red tree, so we can make more bandages. And there's all kinds of bad guys down here. Lovely. That is a lot of bad guys. That's a lot of bad guys. Let's at least get over here. Oh, man. Okay. Come on. Let's do this. What? What in the hell? What was that? Like, th uh, threw me way up in the air. All right, come here. All right, he's dead. Hi, wait, hive entrance? What? 
What? We can go inside the hives? Oh man, that's uh I don't know. And there's monsters in here too. What is this? Copper. Hive one exit. Uh no, I'm not going that way. All right, so we're we're in like the big giant wasp hives. Look at the copper in here. My goodness, there's a ton. Oh shit! Uh there's a bunch of copper in here. See, the problem I have, guys, is I don't have a good enough weapon to fight these guys. There's an enormous amount of copper in here, though. Makes me want to wonder what else there is in here. Uh, why isn't that guy attacking? It's just sitting there. Oh, it's almost like they can't move past that point. Interesting. All right, here. Let's just run over here. I just want to. I want to look around really quick. What? Ah! Shit. Dropping. That kind of looked like it went back into no man's land again. Oh! What in the hell? All right, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> are we still in the same place? Yes, we are. Okay. All right, those guys are all coming after us. Let's go. That's just an outcropping. Uh, we, we, there was that stuff we could salvage over there, but there's, this area is kind of hot. I think we probably better just try to GTFO. All right, you guys. Well, um, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. And I'm going to... I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Um, I'm willing to. I'm willing to try and make this work. If, if we can find plutonium and get a forge going, but if we can't, you know, then there, we're, we're pretty much hosed. There's nothing we can do about it, you know? Okay, I'm going to take care of him. And, you know, it's not sending meteorites down anymore like it used to. So, th so the way that we used to get plutonium is from meteorites or from running beta mine. And beta mine, it doesn't even exist anymore, like we knew it. <laughs> and uh, I haven't seen a single meteorite since I started playing on here. So, yeah, that's not good. That is not good. So, so what? Here's here's the deal. What I'm going to do is see if I can come across uh, more plutonium. Now, some somewhere along the line, and I don't know exactly where or how we did it. But somewhere along the line, we looted three plutonium ingots. So if I can come up with one more, then we can actually make the forge and we might, you know, we might be able to make a go of this. Uh, if I can't, though, then, um, oh, I guess there's a purple tree right there. That <laughs> was even closer. Uh, if I can't, you know, then of course, Vitals dropping. we'll have to end end this and pro and just go back to the current uh, stable release because you know i i wasn't actually finished with stable release anyways i had a few more thing you know a few more episodes planned at least a few more episodes planned uh with that you know so um but if we can if we can come up <coughs> excuse me with the <coughs> with the forge then we can we can continue on here and you know try and try and make a go of it for a bit longer oh man there's a bunch of wasps over there so that's the plan, guys. And so I will let you know in the next episode what the verdict is going to be for that. And when I say B, I don't mean that kind of B. It's not a B, anyways, it's a wasp. There's a difference. You go away. I'm trying to uh I'm trying to salvage this place. You're not helping. You are not helping the situation. Okay. 
All right, guys. Well, um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye.